Today I want to take a look at communication sites, how to apply site templates, and also reverse to the default site template. First thing we're going to do is come into the Admin Center and do Create a Site, and we're going to select Communication Site, which is for portals or subject-specific site, dozens or thousands of viewers, few content authors, and many visitors. So this is your one-to-many scenario. I'm just going to name it Com, something very simple. Give it a site owner. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. There are advanced settings available where you can choose a time zone and purpose. Uh, we'll leave that on the defaults. Go ahead and create our new site. Now that our new site has been created, we get a welcome dialog when we first visit that lets us uh, talk about site designs. And you can add or change your template anytime in the settings gear, browse templates, maybe later. So this is an interesting new feature that Microsoft's rolled out, where we have various templates available that can be applied and, and also kind of reversed. The one that we're looking at by default, and I, I really haven't seen a lot of documentation, community videos, or material on this, so I wanted to make a, a video tour that shows people a little bit more. But the one in the background that we're seeing is called Topic. Topic is the name of the default communication site template. So when we think of a communication site, and when we're creating a communication site, that's what we do from the admin center, what we're actually looking at is a topic site template. So just keeping in mind that there's two things, a communication site in the background, but a topic template in the foreground. And so as you're looking at some of the other available settings, new employee onboarding, showcase, learning central, you know, event one, that's kind of interesting because it has a countdown to a, a launch date, Human resources, very common use case for company intranets, forms, and documentation. Uh, but maybe we want to go ahead and we'll do the showcase one. And this is interesting because the layout kind of does this left, right, zigzag sort of pattern, visually unique and, and different than what we would normally see with our default uh, communication site using the topic in the background. So we're going to go ahead and say use template. And it comes up with this dialog that says we're applying the template and it gives a percent complete. One of the other things that you'll see when you come into a communication site the very first time is this right side panel where it gives you some access to different features. Customize the site with images, share it for security, upload content, post news, and change the look. We're going to go ahead and close that for now. And we have applied the new site template. So here we are looking at showcase. And if you want to know what has happened with the site templates, one of the things that we can do is come into site information. So there's two relevant links on the top right gear. The first is site information, which is sort of a history view of what has happened. And apply a site template will let us make changes. Going into the first one, for site information, there is an ability to see the last template used is showcase, and we can view template history. So regarding site templates, we may want to come into this section to see what template is applied that we're looking at and also the history of other templates. So if we come in here, we can see that showcase was applied. And if we drill down to that arrow, it does show the steps that are taken. Now, depending on which site template is applied, you might see more steps. So if I came in to apply a site template and I did something more advanced like Learning Central. Learning Central talks about courses and resources and catalogs and enrollment and it, it has a lot more background, feature rich. So if we apply the Learning Central template, we'll notice a different history. Okay, so that's complete. We're now looking at Learning Central. And coming into the site information, we want to look at the same thing again for history to see what has been applied. We'll view the history. We'll come into the arrow. 
And now for Learning Central, you can see that there's a high number of changes occurring, that it did create a page and applied a theme, but it also made changes to navigation, document libraries. It made changes to more navigation links. It also made changes to the footer of the page and instructor directory to the footer. So it kind of enumerates all of these different small changes that occurred to make the template active. Now one thing you might want to do is get this back to the default. And the way we do that is we apply template and we select topic. Topic is going to be the Microsoft default. That's the one that we're all used to when we see a brand new communication site. And this should look familiar right here. We have the group of people in front of the whiteboard and we have a two by two grid on the right hand side. So if we go ahead and do use template for this one, apply based on the template you choose. Now we're back to the default. And this is the home page that we're all accustomed to. It's the navigation that we're more accustomed to. And so if you're working with site templates and sort of testing this one and another, just remember that topic will get you back to the Microsoft default. And you will need to do another step with changing the theme for change the look. So under change the look, we can do theme. We can go back and highlight that one more time. So under site settings, we do change the look. Underneath change the look, we want to do theme. And the theme that Microsoft used by default is teal. So some of these other color palettes with purple and orange may not apply. We want to go with the teal theme for the Microsoft default. And that gets us pretty close to the out of the box where we began when we first created communication site. So this tells you a little bit more about site templates, how to apply them and reverse them and some of the choices we have available. The last thing to highlight is that when you're applying a site template, these choices are dependent on communication site. So what we're looking at right now is a menu of 11 different templates, right? And these 11 choices are available for the comm site template that we created. If you created a team site, you can follow these same steps, but your choices are going to be different. You might not see Learning Central and Showcase. They have a different list of choices available for Team Site. So something to keep in mind, you can still follow the steps, but when you're using a communication site, you have more templates available. Thanks for watching.